This is Prince Philip's paternal family tree. He actually has a really large family, bigger than Queen Elizabeth. Don't worry, I will zoom in so we can see their names, but just to show you, Philip is way over here at the end. He was the youngest son of the second youngest son of King George I of Greece. As with my family trees of Elizabeth II, we're going to see his family members so that you get the bigger picture of where he sits in his family. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here on Mortal Faces, I go through royal family trees and also see how people we read about might have looked in real life. Lots more on my channel you can check out, so thank you for watching, subscribe for more recreations and trees, and let me know in the comments who you'd like to see in upcoming videos. This is the Greek royal family, but they're not really Greek. King George I of Greece was born a Dane prince, so basically what happened was for 400 years, the Ottomans ruled Greece. Then the Greeks had a revolution and the big three, Britain, France, and Russia, supported them. When they won, they made Greece into a kingdom and put Prince Otto of Bavaria, who was Empress Sissi's first cousin, onto the throne. He didn't work out, so then George of Denmark was elected. George married the Russian Grand Duchess Olga and they became Prince Philip's grandparents. Let's take a look at these colors. All the purple are first cousins to one another, assuming they're not siblings. They're all Prince Philip's first cousins. The red are their children and are second cousins, not to Philip, but to each other. They're King Charles's generation. Same goes with the blue. The blue are their children, who are all third cousins to each other. They're Prince William and Harry's generation. And then we see the green, which are their kids, or fourth cousins to each other, which are Prince George's generation. And finally, some blacks, who would be fifth cousins to one another. So we'll zoom in and we're going to see George and Olga's first child, Constantine. He became the next king after his father and had six children from 1890 to 1913. There are two first cousins born in 1890. This is one of them, which is a 31-year difference to when Philip was born in 1921. Constantine's eldest child had no kids, which was interesting because if we look back at Elizabeth's maternal and paternal family trees, her eldest first cousins too on both sides did not have any children either. Moving on to the next four children, their descendants became kings and queens of recent monarchies. We have Prince Alexander and Queen Alexandra of Yugoslavia, whose son is the pretender of the defunct Yugoslavian throne. Helen became queen of Romania, whose son Michael became king. He recently passed away in 2017. His daughter is the current pretender of the defunct Romanian monarchy. When Constantine died and his older sons King George II and King Alexander also died, his next son Paul became King of Greece in 1947. This was the same year that his first cousin Prince Philip and Elizabeth were getting married. He could not attend their wedding as he caught typhoid fever. He had three children. His first daughter was Queen Sophia of Spain. She has three children, Alina, Christina, and the current King Philip VI of Spain. Sophia's brother Constantine inherited the crown after their father Paul, and he became Constantine II of Greece, and his family is the current pretender of the defunct Greek monarchy. And then their youngest sibling is Princess Irene in 1942, who had no children. After Paul comes Irene in 1904, who became the Duchess of Aosta. Her family is one of two Clements to the defunct Italian throne. Her grandson, Prince Aimone, the current pretender, is married to a second cousin once removed, who is the youngest one from this same Greek family, which we're going to see at the very end. Lastly, we have Princess Catherine, who married a British man and became Lady Catherine with her own family. You see, all these first cousins of Philip are now dead, Lady Catherine being the final one to die in 2007 from this senior branch. And this is the senior branch of the Greek royal family. It comprises of all these major kings and queens that recently got deposed within the 20th century except for Spain. Following Constantine, his next brother was Prince George. Prince George had two children, Prince Peter and Princess Eugenie in 1908 and 1910. Peter had no children, but Eugenie had three. Princess Eugenie first married a Polish prince and then a German prince turned Italian duke. Her first two kids were from the Polish prince, and then her third was from the Italian duke. The third child of King George and Olga was Princess Alexandra in 1870. She married into the Russian Romanov family to her first cousin once removed, Grand Duke Paul, the youngest son of Emperor Alexander II of Russia. She had two children, Grand Duchess Maria Pavlovna in 1890 and Grand Duke Dmitry Pavlovich in 1891. She died six days after giving birth to him. And this is Philip's first cousin, Grand Duchess Maria's family tree. 
She had two sons. The eldest son had nine children himself. Initially, she was a very selfish and snobbish woman. She was forced out of her comfort zone when she escaped the Russian Revolution, where she was forced to sell her jewels and find an occupation. She went to Romania, then London, and Paris, where she found a short-term successful fashion business. The United States, Buenos Aires, and finally died in West Germany in 1958, devoting her time to interior design, fashion, and art. This is her brother, Grand Duke Dmitri's family tree, he was a participant in the murder of Rasputin in 1917, which got him exiled, but this ultimately saved his life. He was very close to his sister, and they reunited in London, where his aunt, Grand Duchess Maria, supported him with the proceeds from the sale of his palace before the Bolshkovitz got it. He married and divorced an American heiress and died in 1942, age 50. After Princess Alexandra's family tree, we have Prince Nicholas in 1872. He had three children, Olga in 1903, who married a prince of Yugoslavia, and she had three children, then Elizabeth in 1903, who married the grandson of Empress Sissi's brother, and she had two children herself, and then finally Princess Marina, who married the Duke of Kent and became the Duchess of Kent in 1934. She had the current Prince Michael, Duke of Kent, Princess Alexandra, Lady Olgavy, and Prince Michael of Kent, who are Queen Elizabeth's first cousins, and they're still alive as of 2023. You do see them in the British news, so Prince Philip was actually related to the Kents. They are his first cousins once removed. Philip's first cousin was their mother, Marina. The fifth child of King George of Greece was Princess Maria. She married the grandson of the Russian Emperor Nicholas I and escaped the revolution because she went to England for her daughter's health in 1914 and decided to stay. Her husband was killed. She was the one who helped her nephew that we just talked about, Grand Duke Dmitri. She had two daughters, Nina and Senya. In 1927, Anastasia's imposter Anna Anderson was making headlines as the long-lost princess. Sanya believed Anna was the true Anastasia. Princess Olga was next, but she died an infant. And then finally we have Prince Andrew, who was born in 1882 and was Prince Philip's father. He married Princess Alice of Battenberg, the great-granddaughter of Queen Victoria. He had four daughters and a son. Princess Margarita married a German prince. They ended up becoming Nazi sympathizers. Princess Theodora married a German margrave. Initially, they were opposed to Nazism, but her husband joined them for World War II. The third child was Princess Cecile. She married the German hereditary Grand Duke of Hesse. They had four children and were members of the Nazi party as well. However, their lives were cut short. The Duke and Duchess with their two elder sons were flying to England for the wedding of the Grand Duke's younger brother in 1937. The plane crashed. The pregnant Cecile went into labor on the plane, but all four family members died. Their 14th-month-old daughter was too young to go, however, passed away in 1939 from meningitis. The fourth child was Princess Sophie, born in 1914. She married two German princes, the first one being part of the Nazi party and died during World War II. You see, when Hitler began to kill the German aristocracy, including her in-laws, she saw his true nature and turned against Nazism. Princess Sophie was the last of Philip's sisters to die in 2001. From the participation of the Nazi regime, Prince Philip, born in 1921, was unable to invite his sisters to his wedding in 1947. However, after the war, they were slowly reintegrated into the family circles and attended their coronation in 1953. Lastly, at Prince Philip's funeral, he was represented by three family members. Bernard, the hereditary Prince of Baden, is his sister, Theodora's grandson. Prince Philip of Hohenlohenlangenberg is his elder sister, Margarita's grandson. And third, Prince Donatus, the Landgrave of Hesse. Donatus's great-great-grandmother was Queen Victoria's eldest daughter while Philip's great-grandmother was Queen Victoria's second daughter, so they were sisters. Finally, his youngest first cousin, and the only one still alive, is Prince Michael, born in 1939. He is the son of the youngest son of King George and Olga of Greece. He is also their only grandchild still alive. He has two daughters, his second daughter, and really the youngest member of this immediate family was the one who I mentioned married her second cousin once removed, the Italian Duke of Aosta, from the senior branch of this line, and that's Prince Philip's paternal family tree. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. You can check out Queen Elizabeth's paternal and maternal family trees on my channel to see who her first cousins were and who is still alive on her side of the family. I will have Prince Philip's maternal family tree on my channel, so subscribe and I will see you in the next one.